Okay, today we're going to build the engine out procedure out of Aspen. So we're going to be going to Aspen to Denver. And we're going to be departing on runway 33. We have chosen departure procedure 1. That's 33 DP1. Basically because it gives us the highest weight. And this says what? Take off weight for runway 33. Require use of this tail at RNAV departure. RNAV procedure. All fixes are flyby fixes unless otherwise noted. All turns are climbing 15 degrees of bank unless otherwise noted. At the departure end of the runway, turn right to an initial heading of 343. Then fly direct to RNAV waypoint, red table, radio 165 at 9.3 miles. Then direct to RNAV waypoint, red table, radio 197, 9.4 miles. Then direct to lens, do not exceed 180 knots until established inbound to lens. And then, climb in a holding pattern at Linz, hold southeast, right turns, 25 degree bank, five nautical mile legs, and the uh, course inbound is 295 degrees, do not exceed 200 knots. So how do we build that inside the FMS? First thing we want to do is, well, we have Aspen here, there's Denver. Departure, we're going to be departing on runway 33. We're going to be doing the normal Linz 1 departure here, and we're going to be going out to Red Table. So let's activate that. There it is. That's what we're going to fly in Blue Needle on the left or the pilot side FMS, FMS number one. There it is. In FMS number two, we're going to separate the box. So we're going to go Nav, Next, Maintenance, and we're going to press OR. And we're going to select independent because we want to separate the boxes. So now FMS number two is separate from FMS number one. We go back here, we see our flight plan that's already in, but we don't want that. We're going to be doing something completely different. So I'm going to start over. And how am I going to start over? I'm going to put K A S E in the scratch pad, and I'm going to put it on one left, and that'll get rid of everything. Now, I'm still going to have Denver, K-D-E-N, in here. Put that in the destination. And I'll close that out. I'll give us a departure of runway 33, and all I'm going to do is activate it. I did not choose lens, because it's going to be a little different. The procedure says, at the departure end of the runway, turn right to an initial heading of 243. So after departure, that's what we're going to do to fly direct to RNAV waypoint, red table radial 167 at 9.3. So that's just a simple point bearing distance. So red table is DBL, DBL slash 165, 165 radial slash 9.3 is the distance, 9.3. And I'm gonna put that right over here, right after runway 33. Of course it's red table and let's see what it builds. Okay, so that's our first point. Our second point is going to be another point bearing distance, and that's from red table 197 at 9.4. So again, DBL, DBL slash 197, 197 slash, and how many miles do they want us? 9.4 miles. So I will go 9.4 and I'm going to put that right in between, right above Denver. That's the second one, so it's right after this. So there's runway 33. That's our first point. Our second point is going to be right here. Yes, red table. And let's see what it builds us. Ah, very nice. Love it. And then direct to Linz. So I'm going to go to the next page and I'm going to type in Linz. L I N D Z. Put it right over here. Linz. And it says climb at a holding pattern at Linz. We want to hold southeast with right turns, 25 degree banks, and the inbound course is 295. So we're going to go direct pattern, hold, hold where? At Linz. And we've got a couple of choices here. Well, we're going to make up our own. So let's press default. And the directions tell us hold southeast 
All right, so that's good so far. Right turns, that's good so far. Inbound course is 295. It says 294 here, so I'm just going to put 295 in a slash. And that'll still give us the southeast with right turns. And the legs are five miles, so we're going to press five, put it in the leg distance. We're going to activate it, and there's lens. So direct to lens, it says do not exceed 180 knots until established inbound to lens. So 180. Let's back that up a little bit. I'm going to put 180 in here, slash. That's the speed that I want. 180 until inbound to lens. And then in the holding pattern, it says no more than 200 knots. So I'm going to put 200 slash right at lens. So we're going to hold at lens until we climb to 16,000 feet. So I'm going to put that in here. 16,000 feet. That's what the clearance said. And now we have everything inside FMS number two. And if we have an engine failure, God forbid, all we need to do if we want the pilot to fly it, is switch him from FMS-1 to FMS-2 and engage LNAV, and we'll be flying FMS number two, this one. If we do not have an engine failure, we're gonna stay on FMS-1. Simple and easy. On both of these procedures, whether it's the engine out procedure or the two engine procedure, it tells us at the end of that runway, we need to make a turn to a heading of 343. So I'm gonna put in 343 into the heading bug right here. Now we'll be flying this in Blue Needle, but if we have an engine failure, instantly gonna be going to heading. I'm gonna come up here, I'm gonna select FMS 2, and then I'll engage LNAV. If we do not have an engine failure and we want to go back to dual, take FMS number two out of independent, put it back to dual, it's very simple. Just go to nav, next, maintenance, and it says it's independent. The active mode is independent. The selected mode is independent. We're going to press OR. We're going to put it to dual and Watch what happens. It'll disappear and it will automatically populate what we have on FMS-1. Active mode is dual, selected mode is dual. So we're reading everything off of FMS-1. Something else to point out to you. It depends on where the PFD command is sitting as to what FMS will be active when you press dual. In this case, we have the left set. So when we go back to dual in either FMS1 or FMS2, it's gonna take on all the information in FMS1. But what if we switched it to the right side? As you know, the right side has the departure procedure for single engine. So if it's in the right side, the left side is showing the two engine procedure, the lens departure. The right side, the box has been split showing that it's independent. We have the right command set. So what if we go into the box and we select nav, next, maintenance, and now we want to change it into dual. Because of where the PFD command is, that's going to dictate and present an FMS 1 and 2 whatever the right side is showing. So let's see that happen. Let's press dual. It's in dual. And let's take a look up here, see what's happening. There it is. So the box is dependent upon where the PFD command is. Now obviously, it's normal in the left side. And that's it. I hope you learned something. Hit subscribe and tell your friends. Have a great day. Fly safe.